We want this question is about differential equations by writing y equals second cubed theta as 1 over cos cubed theta. Show that dy dx equals 3 sine theta second to the fourth theta. So um, in the MF19, we have this um, di differentiation formulas. So um, if y equals second cubed theta, so second is 1 over cos we have cos theta to the power of minus 3 so just from here we have 1 over something so negative power now we use the power rule so we bring the power down we have minus 3 times the new power is n minus 1 so minus 4 and we have to multiply by the derivative of the base so the derivative of cos is minus sign so that's why we multiply by minus sign and we simplify we have minus 3 times minus sign which is plus 3 sign and cos to the power of negative 4 is 1 over cos to the fourth and 1 over cos is second which is what we need to prove now now um, the variables x and theta satisfy the differential equation it is given that solve in 3SF so the first step is to separate the variables so we need everything with x on one side everything with theta on the other side we can multiply or divide by something here we multiply by dx over cos to the fourth theta x squared plus 9 because we will cancel out and we cancel out and on the left we only have sine theta times 1 over cos to the fourth which is second to the fourth so we have this on the left and on the right we cancel out the um, cos to the fourth theta so we have x plus 3 over x squared plus 9 dx we have everything with theta on the left everything with x on the right so we have separated the variables now we integrate both sides now we can't really integrate this directly so let's just split the fractions so x over x squared plus 9 3 over x squared plus 9 now for the um, left hand side so previously from the first part we have this which means if we differentiate secant cubed we get this or if we integrate this guy we're gonna get this so we're gonna use this concept we need to integrate using this form so it's gonna be 3 sine theta second four theta that's why we multiply by 3 but also divide by 3 because we don't want to change the question but we can integrate this integral the integral is second cubed theta and now for the right hand side we're gonna use um, this MF19 formula. So if we have a fraction, the numerator happens to be the derivative of the denominator. We can use this rule. So we gotta make sure that this numerator is the exact derivative of the denominator. Now the derivative of x squared is 2x. So the derivative of 9 is 0. The derivative of the denominator is supposed to be 2x. That's why we need to modify the integration here. Multiply by 2, divide by 2. We're not changing the question. But we can integrate this because 2x happens to be the derivative of the denominator. So if we use this formula, we're going to get ln the denominator. So now we have ln x squared plus 9. We don't need to use the absolute value. Okay. Now for... Um, this guy here we're going to use this mf19 formula so it is one not three in the numerator and it is in the form of something squared so that's why we can pull out the three out of the integration like this and we express the nine as three squared so we can identify the a the a is obviously three so using this formula what we get is one over a the a is three inverse tangent x over a the a is 3 so we are done with the um, integration actually we have the um, general solution because we still have the constant of integration c 
So to find the value of c, we plug in the boundary condition. When x is 3, pi is 1 third pi. So we replace the x with 3, the x with 3, and the theta with pi over 3. And we can um, use a calculator here. So we don't have secant function in the calculator usually. So secant, remember that secant is 1 over cos. So this is what we do in the calculator. And we get 8 over 3. On the right side, don't use a calculator because you'll get decimals. Just use your calculator for this part, you get 18. And for this part, you can use a calculator, you will get pi over 4. So subtract both sides with this guy so it's going to be minus one half of ln 18 minus pi over 4 this is the value of c now that we have the value of c we have the particular solution so just like this general solution exactly the same but we replace the c with this value because we know the value of c so now we need to find the value of cos theta when x equals 0. So we replace the x with 0, x with 0, x with 0, and we find the value of cos theta. So 0 squared plus 9, that is 9. Don't use your calculator for the ln something because you're going to get decimals. So just use your calculator for this because you're going to get 0, exact value. And now we um, multiply both sides by 3 here. So we multiply both sides by 3, we get, they cancel out, and 3 halves and 8 over 3 times 3 is 8 and 1 over 2 times 3 is uh, 3 over 2 so now we can um, take the cube root of both sides because we have cube here so we have the cube root of everything on the right and because it's a reciprocal we can flip both sides so we have the value of cos theta, which is 1 over this whole thing. And you can, actually you can use a calculator here. Because we're looking for the answer in three significant figures. Alright, that's it. I'll see you again next time.